Good day, guys. Being here. Um, so today we're going to try this one. So bamboo leaf shaped roof. Okay. So um, how do we create this roof? So it's curved, um, curved, curved on the side, and uh, and make the form and the size of each one adjustable. Okay. Curved. Okay, so yeah. Um yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I think we can because uh each each of them can be different so and it will be multiple, right? So it's easier to just create a adaptive family so we can place them and then adjust them. Okay, so and uh, let me just go back. I think this can be MB. Uh, sorry. Yeah, pretty much there. So one point, two point, and three. Three point. Three point to create a a path. Okay, and for the profile, one profile will be something like this. Another profile would be this, and then the last profile would be depending on, I mean, whether go up or go down, right? So, yeah, so, yeah, this is pretty much it. So, let's uh, start. Um, so, first, let's place three. I guess we, we can. Yeah, may, sorry, make them adaptive and maybe change the middle one three instead of you know. So when we place this one, um, we if we want to, we can just place two and uh, press X escape to finish it. We don't need to place a three, and then we can uh, we can adjust the middle point to change the you know curve. Um, okay, so now one, two, three. Make a spline through point. Make it reference line. Place a point you draw on face um, here. So, so now we need to place the first profile. So it will be a reference. Um, the curve. Uh, the curve of. Uh, let's just use spline for the shape. Okay, so spline draw work plan set work plan pick the horizontal work plan on this point, and we can just you know place our hand. Let me think. Uh, shall we use? Maybe not. Uh, let's make it uh, also adjustable. So which means uh, we're going to place point and. And place point onto the onto the vertical work plan on this point. So we oh sorry, control Z. Point drawn work plan set work plan tab pick and place the point. Now we can click on this point. So we can uh, we can uh, give it a parameter. So like I'll just change it for now. I'll make it one meter and then let's. Create a parameter. I'll just call it um, maybe offset one. Okay, so offset one, and let's place another one, another one here. Tab and place it again. Oh, actually, let's let's try a different way. <laughs> Reference circle. Let's try circle. Draw a word plan. Set word plan. Pick this point and create a circle. So instead of doing, you know, one offset, another offset, it's probably easier to use a circle. So let's create a parameter. I'll use the offset one actually, and then we can just place point to draw on face and then snap onto here and here. That's it, right? So so we have two points, and then we need. One more. Okay, so place a point. Draw, uh, draw on word plan. Set word plan. Uh, pick this word plan. Place on the point. Select this point. Uh, looks like it need to go here. 
it will be paused uh, I'm not sure actually <laughs> let's create another offset to maybe instance so uh, what's the last one instance as well yeah that's all good I'll see if I can flip it uh, I'm not sure maybe flip yeah okay so see now we uh, we can have this positive uh, offset and then we can just move this to this end and we can just select this this and this and to create a spline through point so this will become the first profile okay first profile so let's make it a reference line and we can adjust the shape of this one by just changing this number okay so now let's just leave this here or actually maybe we can just copy this one or just drag this back select this cc select the point pick new host Ooh, doesn't work uh, that's fine we can just delete this and place another point join work plan set work plan and place it on the and we can use the same um yeah maybe just use the same uh, parameter now we can just create another one by use uh spline through points make it reference line and also i'm going to flip this one back so now we can just drag this to this end and we can also just maybe just uh, type in oh not not one sorry zero. Oh hell which one it should be from measure from should be one yeah that's all good so now we have two profile so now we need just need another one so for this uh, for this uh, for this for this one uh, I'm going to place this one on midpoint of this reference line and I'm going to do the same thing a circle and so this time I'll call it uh, maybe offset three instance and uh, and I'll just place two points okay and then uh, again we need to place another one this time I'm going to use oh hang on let me think again maybe you can just do a cir another circle so while we're doing all the circles maybe just do it um, use the same method so let's do another one and this one will be offset four okay and then I'm going to just place a point use draw on face and down to this um, here and maybe I'll place another one here because we might need um, we need both yeah, um, top and bottom right so now select these three create a spline through points make a reference line we can just create another one with these three points and make it reference line so now we can select this one and select this one oh actually let me try see it and see if, if if I can just do it together yes see okay I think yeah I think this is it it's very simple um, I'll change I'll reduce this a little bit so make it a little bit yeah thinner and okay so let's try I'll type it WF if I change this SD okay I think this is it it's quite simple right so now let's have a test so I'll just create a maybe a project I'll just use now and place some wall and maybe we can just you know place some of this adaptive family there so I just place a couple of wall three more and I'll load this one into this project I'll probably just you know try to uh, place uh, on this on top of these walls so 
first one, it's a, it's a three point adaptive family. So we need to place one, two, and we can escape to finish this. So which means we manual we need to manually. Oh, why is why is uh, yeah that should be fine. So it's actually let me just go back to the family, and yeah because we have this one you know down on the here. Maybe I'll just move this one up there in this family. So next time when we when we place this family, so I'll just do another one. C S one and two escape. It will go to you know to the top. And and the one we already did, we can still change you know, the shape, right? You can also adjust the point on the on the other on this end to uh, you know, SD. Uh, maybe I'll just move it horizontally. Go there. Oh, <laughs> no, it's a little bit WF. Go there. Ah, oh, wrong one. Sorry. Uh, where is it? Here. Yeah. Ah, oh, I broke it. Maybe move over there, and uh, oh, it's probably easier. Just do it. Do another one. SD CS one two escape one two escape one two escape one two escape. So and then this can this one this one can go up a little bit. And let's also have a try uh, of the parameters. So like uh, if I want to make this one bigger, uh, wider. So uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. So this is uh, the one we can control the width. And to control the thickness is this one. So right. Yeah, and what else? To uh, we can also control the size um, at the end. So, for example, this one, uh, maybe we we'll reduce the size. Okay, so maybe make it two meter wide, very skinny, and also very thin. And then uh, it looks like the this the end uh, not uh, not good. So we need to reduce the size as well. Try oh sorry wrong one five hundred yeah so that's how we can do it and maybe five hundred as well uh, maybe need to increase a little bit to make it uh, pointier um, five hundred four hundred three hundred yeah that's better All right so and CS and the yeah, if you use CS create similar, so you can create the same the family with same parameter, right? Right. And if you uh, if I do the bigger one CS, it will create a family with the same parameter as this big one. So I think you can also match MA to yeah to quickly match the uh, parameters. And I think this is. It. Um, let me have a look again. It looks like there are some patterns, but I don't think. Uh, yeah, probably. Probably just use material instead of. If you can, <coughs> you can go. <coughs> you can go back here to. So for example, you can add a. a Divided surface, like for example here, and maybe turn off one grid. But yeah, it looks like we, uh, yeah, it won't you won't see the surface actually. You can only you won't only see the pattern. Um, yeah, not sure. Turn off the pattern. You grid. Anyway, so yeah, I guess just use material. So um, material. Let me just. Delete this. We can add a parameter for the material, and and I'll just maybe just use instance parameter for the material. Load it back, overwrite, and let's 
give it a pattern. So let's have a try. If I'll just use a surface pattern, not um, so much, uh, not not some you know actual you know appearance or on the you know texture. Just I'll just use a how uh, this one surface pattern. Uh, there's nothing in the model. Ah, yeah, because I didn't use a you know template. That's fine. We can just create a new one. Uh, Ten zero nine nine, nine uh, ninety or zero. <laughs> I'm not sure. Five hundred, maybe. Yeah, I think that's good enough, right? So if I you know control C or if I apply to some of them, so I'll just control V and then that and this is it. Yeah, if you need to do some render, you might need to f find some material with um, those. Uh, what do we call this? Uh, normal. Uh, what's that? The in Revit, it's, it's I think it's bump or in like Lumion, it's a uh, normal uh, texture or something. Yeah, to make it more like like this. But uh, I think in Revit, we yeah, this is good enough. I think. And this is it. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.